Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. This is a band who have evolved a lot over the years, moving from screaming to clean singing, and um, it's really interesting. I, I really enjoy his warm baritone voice. Dramatic. Oh, I love some strings. That is such uh, a rock thing to do, a modern rock thing to do. Instead of right and keep it open on R, he's doing right and changing it onto the E and putting that vibrato on the end. That adds to that more direct tone. Sometimes those narrow vowels give you a little bit more punch, a little bit more treble in your voice, whereas right makes it feel a little bit warmer but also a little bit more placed and a little bit more classical so people often in rock genre tend to go for something in between unless you're kind of going for a like power metal because that has quite a lot of um classical singing techniques within it um but he also likes to add little bits of nasality into his tone again that is something that helps you punch through helps your voice cut through the mix of the guitars and the drums it's really really common to do in any sort of genre where you need to be heard so whether it's rock or whether it's musical theater when you need to get something across and you're kind of fighting through a lot of um, backing music or a lot of different instruments then adding a little bit of nasality or twang they're different but kind of sound similar um, will help you get that that tone and we'll talk about twang and nasality in a little bit See where he's adding that nasality at the end? Da, 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 da. Uh, and he's kind of going to like a wah sort of placement. I'm overdoing it so you can hear. But if you listen when he does it again, it's got that nasality. Now, nasality is when the air is actually traveling through the nose. So you know it's nasality because you can go wah and it cuts off the sound. But if you go wah and it doesn't cut off the sound, then it's twang. And twang is formed by a narrowing just above the vocal cords. So we can't really feel that, but we can feel this, the feeling of um, twang and nasality and they feel very, very similar. So play around, see if you can feel the difference between the two. But also what I really love is his changing of phrasing in this bit that it's really short, it's really staccato. He's got this really bouncy, consonant heavy phrasing so you can hear every word. But he also has really clean, clean consonants on the earlier um, section, but it had that smoothness to it. He didn't let the consonants, he kind of sung through them. He didn't let it cut off the note so that you get this really beautiful fluid section. Really nice. Place for 
can hear it. Smooth bit. Ah, see, on that big note at the end, he kept it open and he didn't do right, he did right, because an R, a big open R, is just more like a scream and it makes it easier to put that distortion on. When he's in that really uh, nasal place, then it is, it's harder to get that distortion, so if you listen really closely, you'll hear that he's in that more open place when he wants that distortion. He does really nice open vowels like after life instead of life because he wants it to have that fluid motion and in this section instead of having a closed e where he doesn't really open his mouth a lot he's doing life i don't think it was on life because the life was an r but there's definitely oh it was night an earlier night night he's still got enough space if you watch hopefully he'll do that section again he has enough space to kind of put his thumb in his mouth life Loads of space, it's great. I love the fire. And the strings, ooh. See, when he goes to that nasal place, he is like, grace of God, really open, and then listening, he kind of closes his mouth and goes wider and narrower, and that is what is helping him get into that, that really cutting sound. Oh, I like that BB. Cool fry scream. That's got a lot of voice in it. <laughs> it made me want to laugh with him. It's wicked. So how do you find these fry screams look? I am not the world's distortion expert and if you really really want to know about fry screams go and look up Melissa Cross that is really really her bag but um for me trying to find it is by making the sound of either a screeching car or a little baby cat row, 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 like a little panther and that's definitely the start for me so if you can make that row, then it's all about again shaping it's not about pushing loads of air it's about shaping so that you make the most uh, resonant sound you boost all those sound waves I 
again, super open. <laughs> really cool. Really fun, really great singing, and I love that their style has evolved so much throughout the years. I love hearing that development of artists, and I know, you know, you can get really attached to that initial sound that you hear in an artist, but for me, I, I really love seeing someone's growth. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Do 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 do